Your station, WWWJ, continues to be the top story in our city. Yesterday, another of our station personalities was found dead shortly after the end of his air shift. Thomas Redding, the city's top-rated conservative talk host, was the fifth WWWJ personality to mysteriously perish. There were no signs of a struggle or visible wounds. Forensic experts are now working around the clock looking for additional clues and an answer as to whom may be responsible. Responsible. Host of Night Talk, George Miller, is now the only member of the WWWJ weekday air staff that has not yet become a victim of what the local papers are now referring to as the talker stalker. All right, we're back and we're talking about the mysterious deaths of five WWWJ talk show hosts. I won't rest until this case is solved. And don't think I'll be intimidated by this talker stalker. Listen, I'm not going anywhere. George Miller here, Sandy from Wixom. You're on the air. Hi, George. Uh, Long-time listener. Um, could be last-time caller, if you're not more careful. The talker stalker got to the others. He'll get to you. Go home. Take a vacation. What are you doing in the studio? He could be outside in the parking lot right now. Kevin from Pontiac. If I were the talker stalker, I'd just use poison. We are out here fighting for our lives, too. I'm living on instant noodles, and I bet you can't even go 10 minutes without stuffing your face. Get a life. The reason the city's in the state is in is not government policy. It's jerks like you. Here's a tip, people. Get a job. Earn your keep. Get out of my face and off my airwaves. We're going to a break. I'll be back after this short message. Mom, I lost my mitten. Does your child lose their mittens? Buy Mitten Clips, available now at Mitten World in a rainbow of fantastic colors. www.mittenworld.com George, you were a little bit rough on that last caller. I think you might want to soften up a little bit. You have such an opportunity to spread hope in this city. George Miller, you're on the air. Yes, this is Victor from Warren. Evening, Victor. What are your thoughts? Those GOP-loving hotheads got what they deserved. You keep promoting the man, giving tax breaks to the rich. You promote that stuff. Burn it into the minds of the people on your stolen airwaves. Now, you hire Mexicans to build American cars. And not only close the factories, but you close the businesses around the factories, too. Now, I'm working the midnight shift, slaving away for chump change just to eke out a living. Whoa, whoa, Victor, hold on there. You're saying the talk radio hosts deserve this? Damn right they did. It's the only way this is going to get fixed. My guess is the person that did this is somebody... I'm listening. Somebody who's paying the price. Somebody who knows how it should be, but doesn't necessarily have the power or the influence. Somebody who understands that we need real change. Somebody with nothing left to lose. Everything to gain. Somebody... Someone just like you, Victor? Somebody just like me. You bitch! Hey, George Miller, do you want another cup of coffee? Welcome to the all-new Sally Halebrook Show, bringing you fresh stories every weekday. In news today, St. Clair Shores homeowner Beth and Richard Hansen welcome the addition of a neighborhood watch program to their neighborhood. 